Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of Google Cloud Tasks. So up until now, you learn what are Google Cloud Tasks and why you should use them and why they're useful. Along with this, you also learn how to set up the Google Cloud Tasks to use them in your application. And on top of that, you also write the cloud functions to make a Firestore document TTL. But what if we want to cancel the already scheduled task? Hmm, that's where the things get interesting. So to achieve this, we have to include one additional field to the Firestore document that will be the status, the current status of the post. So we will update the status field using the Firestore regular update method to something like cancel and we will listen to these update changes in the background as we are listening to the creation and schedule the task and then delete it after two minutes. Same like this, we will listen to the update changes and check some conditions if it was updated to the cancels. So you will get some configurations like the project ID, the queue name and the location and all of that stuff to delete the task from the queue and also delete the document from the Firestore database. So that was the scenario we are going to achieve in this episode. So first of all, move to your browser and open the Firebase console in there and come to the TTL post. In your case, it can be any collection. So down here, I have a lot of fields in there, but I also included one field that is post status and it's currently in progress. When I'm creating the post in the TTL post collection, I by default set the in progress means nothing. So using this post status, I will update this using some regular method of Firestore to something like cancel and we will track these changes using the cloud functions on update trigger and accordingly delete the task from the queue and also delete the post from the collection. So you have to include the post status or simple status, any name that you want. Next, now we have to write the on update trigger to listen to the changes in that specific document if it's updated to cancel or whatever in your case. So accordingly, delete the task from the queue and also delete the post from the collection. So inside the post directory, we will create one more file of TypeScript and simply we will name it cancel scheduled post.ts. So we got it in here. Now let's go to the scheduled post TTL and copy the same two imports because from the functions we are going to access the on update and using the cloud task client we will delete the task from the queue and also we are going to require the firebase admin to delete the document from the firestore so let's go to the cancel schedule post and here paste these and let's go for creating the on update trigger in here so we got our cancel schedule post function like this. We got the functions Firestore from document. Whenever there is update performed in the TTL post collection on that specific post ID. So we got the snapshot. I just never change. And inside this cancel schedule post, we have to access the before updated data and the after updated data. So then we will compare them and accordingly perform the task that we want. So next after the schedule post trigger on update is created now we want the data of after and before update so we got this post before update post after update we access it like change before data and change after data the before data is the data before update and the change after data is the data which is the data after the update so next we are going to check some conditions accordingly and then perform our tasks that I said to delete the task from the queue and also to delete the post from the TTL post collection. So then we will check the condition if the post before update dot post status was not equal equal to the post after update status. We are comparing whenever the post status before update was not equal equal to the post status after update and the post after update the post status was equal equal to cancel meaning that comparing the post status before update and the post status after update was not equal it means the update is performed and the update is performed after the post status was equal equal to cancel so it means we are in the right place 
we got the post status cancelled and now it's not like before and it's updated to cancel. So now we will perform these two operations to delete the task from the queue and also delete the post from the file store collection. So we got this. Now inside this condition, we want the project ID, the location and the queue name and also to initialize the cloud task client. And next we need the task details the post ID after update and the expire seconds after update. And yes, these will not be updated. Accessing them from before or after doesn't even matter because the update is only performed on the post status and it's updated to cancel. And it doesn't matter to access the post ID and expire seconds. It's actually the milliseconds from the post after update or post before update. So we got the post task details. That's actually the post details, not the task details, the post ID and the expire milliseconds. Next, we want a task name in the project, in the specific project, the locations in the specific location in the Google Cloud Platform, in the queues in the specific queue that we have post schedule post TTL. And also in the tasks, there is my task as we name it and the post ID that we have specified while creating it and also the expire seconds. And after that, we will call await Firebase admin from file store collection on a TTL post collection on the specific post ID that we have obtained, delete the post in here. And finally, await task client delete the task from the queue using the specific task name. And also here we have to import the Firebase admin just like this to use the Firestore collections and TTL posts just like that. So having this, we are done with the scheduled post TTL update trigger. So whenever an update is performed and the post status is updated to the cancel, so this function will listen to the changes and delete the post from the Firestore database and also delete the task the already scheduled task from the queue. And now we have simple to export default and the name of the cancel schedule post here and are to export it and accordingly deploy the function and go for testing. And also here you might be thinking for obtaining the task name, we have done this long process, access the task name and also obtain the queue location and the project. You can also do something like this. According to the blog post I wrote in the medium, you can get the links from the video description. So let's come down here and go to the portion of where we are canceling the cloud task. Here is canceling scheduled task. So first of all, here is the code for, that is the code of what we are doing currently for deleting the task and also deleting the post. So down here, I'm saying you can also do this something like while creating the Google Cloud task, you can store the response of the task client in some variable and from this response access the response.name meaning that the task name and update your collection, the task name to the task name meaning that store the task name in your Firestore database. So for that you also have to create one more field of task name and include the task name in there while creating the task. So after that task will be created and it will store the task name in your Firestore database. And then you have to only do just this and you don't have to access the project ID, the location and the queue name and also the long task name to delete the task. But instead you already have the task name stored in the Firestore database. So simply exit from the event after update. In this case, in our case, it will be post after update and pass it in here so this will become really simple. So also if you want to go at your own pace so simply you will get the link of this blog post in the video description so surely you can go at your own pace by reading these articles on Medium. So having this we are done with our cancel schedule post and now we have to control S to save this file and go for index.js and import this cancel schedule post from the post cancel schedule post 
and simply pass it here in the export and we are done with this now it's time to deploy this function finally and go for testing it so open up your terminal clear everything and run firebase deploy only functions cancel scheduled post hit enter and it will start deploying the function and we have to wait some time for that after it's deployed then it will be the time for going to test it in the application so after the function has been deployed let's go for checking it in the firebase functions tab and also go for testing it so in the firebase functions tab we got one more function cancel schedule post it's the document dot update it will be performed in the ttl post on the specific post id whenever there is an update and the update was to update the post status from the in progress to the cancelled and the other updates like whatever you want to some other updates will not work for this but this will only work for whenever the post status is updated to the cancel because we check the conditions and inside the conditions all the cancellations and deletions are performed so the updates of this field to some other data is not going to work at all but you have to update it to cancel in order to achieve your desired results so we got this cancel schedule post and when you open its logs you will see two logs in here of deployment of this function so here we have two logs and now it's time to go for scheduling a task and then update the firestore post status field to cancel and see what's going to happen so now let's go for testing it write some description in here let's say this post is going to be deleted before two minutes because we are going to update it and it will be disappear right away before two minutes has been reached so let's upload this and we got this post in here and let's refresh this and we got this task scheduled it will be disappeared when it's 106 43 seconds and let's go to the fire store and this is the post let's update it's in progress to cancel and update this and this post is updated to cancel and you can see in real time it's deleted from the first store from here and also let's go to the schedule post detail task let's refresh this and it's also deleted from here and the task is deleted now let's go to the application and you can see that post is not in here so it means we have successfully cancelled the already scheduled task by using simple one additional field of status to track the status if it was updated to something else like the cancel simply track these changes and obtain the data of the queue and also the post and delete the post from the first store and also delete the task from the queue and that's it and in the next episode we will be finally going to consider one big potential issue related with the post request of this here in the post detail where we are sending the post request on the scheduler callback so the issue here is when we schedule a task in here anyone with just internet connection and our payload patterns and the things like the params we want can delete the post from our file store collection and there is no security around this so we have to secure this by some required stuff in here we have to authenticate the function invoker using a service account of google cloud platform and only that service account will be required to call that post request and not all the other individuals will be allowed so that is what we are going to achieve in the next episode in order to not miss the upcoming amazing video of the, all the security stuff you have to like and subscribe in order to get notified whenever the video is here so that's it for this episode and i will see you in the next episode